Pow. What's up guys? Um, first of all, just want to say a big thank you. Uh, the last video did really well. A lot of you guys wanted the review of the shoulder bag. I'm glad I was able to produce that for you because it was something I really wanted to see, but it wasn't available. So yeah, if you want more specific Supreme product reviews, just let me know below and then hopefully whatever I cop, I can do a good review for you guys. Supreme chopsticks still haven't arrived. I think since week one, they haven't been on the ball with uh, getting orders out, so a lot of people still haven't received week one stuff. And yeah, since last week's drop, I haven't received any shipping info on the chopsticks, so I'm just gonna have to hold tight for those. But anyway, let's get straight into week three of Supreme. A lot of fire is dropping this week. First of all, I just wanna talk about the collab. This week's collab is a Nike collab, or Nike, however you like to say it. So yeah, it's a Supreme Nike SB Air Force 2, which from all the like groups and forums I'm on, is a totally like dead sort of Nike model that nobody really likes. So um, I'm not sure why they chose this model. Obviously I don't know that much about Nike because I don't really wear Nike shoes, but uh, off the bat, there's like four colorways. You've just got world famous on the backs of them, and yeah, there's not really much I can say about these. It's just um, I don't think anyone's too excited about them. Uh, retail's going to be quite low, apparently, something like just just like under a hundred, seventy, eighty, maybe. So it's one of the more affordable shoes that Supreme have released. But yeah, not too exciting, not too fussed about it. So we're just going to push that to the side and look at the preview items that are going to be dropping this week. We have a tape stripe long sleeve top. Um, I think this kind of six, especially this yellow colorway, it's got some like Kill Bill vibes going on about it. But it's literally just a stripe that runs from the collar all the way across the shirt and then down to the bottom. And it just says Supreme, Supreme, Supreme over and over again. All the other colorways are just like, yeah, the black one's kind of dope, the camo's kind of cool. Um, but for me, it's a pass. I do like like looking at it, but this isn't something I could uh, get away with wearing. We're moving on to the two-tone half-zip sweatshirt. This is definitely a hyped item for this week. Um, I'm a big fan of just like the half-zip um, sweatshirts or just like hoodies, things like that. I, I was gutted I missed out on the champion half zip at the end of last season I kind of wish I copped that uh, but this is a super sick piece um, comes in a lot of colorways we've got like again the Gucci colorway and then this purple sort of purple and orange colorways kind of dope and the black is definitely dope and they're all dope the only ones I don't really like is the sort of like teal and brown colorway but they're super sick items, um, it's probably going to be a pass this week for me only because I'm saving money for like specific items that are dropping in the future, so I imagine this will be like what 120-ish, so it's a bit out of my price range but if I did have the money I would totally cop this because I think it's a fire piece. Next uh, we have this piping track jacket. Um, so yeah, basic track jacket, just got the small Supreme Box logo on the chest and then it has these lines running across it and across the chest. I'm not sure if they're 3M, I kind of want to say they're 3M but I don't know for sure and then on the back we've got the big Supreme logo plastered so I'm sure this will go really quickly, it comes in four colourways, um, we've got like a, a teal blue, a white, a red and a black, I'm sure those are going to go really quick. Because, um, yeah, it's a fire track jacket, but I don't really wear track jackets, so it's going to be um, a pass on that for me. Uh, moving on to some of the hats, they've got a grid logo beanie. So it's a, a beanie with a pom pom on the top, and the logo is sort of just like got lines going through it and stuff uh, across the front of the beanie, so it gives it sort of like a grid looking effect. I don't wear beanies so of course it's going to be a pass. Next we got a reflective loose gauge beanie. 
which is like the classic sort of small box logo beanie but I think they've got like 3M um, stitched into them so when light hits um, they're basically light up. I think these all look really sort of like out there especially when uh, light is on them. Next up is the Gons Head Camp Cap. Now this is a really wild um, hat. I do like the sort of Gons designs they're doing throughout pieces in the season but this is too much on this hat. It's just like very bold, very bold, very bright, very loud. So this will be a pass for me. Um, although I do like the Gons designs. Next, I thought this might have been a cop, but it is a washed nylon camp cap. And basically, I zoom in on the picture and I just don't like how that material looks. I kind of wish I did get the camp cap from last week, but as I said, it was £50 and... I wasn't ready to pull the trigger on that kind of price for a hat but yeah I did think these might have been the one but basically after that hat Supreme are just going to do camp caps in like every material possible that seems to be what they do every season but fair play they always like sell out most of the time next up moving on to some of the accessories this week we've got a lot of exciting accessories first up is this embossed keychain um, so it's basically a small key ring with Supreme um, embossed into like plastic and they've done like a two-tone colour way on uh, the key ring. So we've got like a green, lime green and blue and a red and black one. Again, this doesn't really scream Supreme to me. It's just like sort of like a subtle little low key uh, keychain. But um, yeah, it's nice, but not for me. Next up is I think what's on the top of everyone's hit list this week, which is the inflatable blimp. Now, I think there's been a lot of mixed opinions on this, but personally, I think this is a one of the most fire accessories dropping this season. I remember when the lookbook came out, or the preview, um, when I went to the accessories page, this was something I was just like, that's freaking awesome. So yeah, definitely copying that. It's just see it like above my bed or something just hung up there i think it's really cool so yeah definitely copying that and then the final um accessory dropping is the supreme quiet carry knife now i'm not sure how small this is i'm fairly sure it's very small but um i do think it's a cool item and depending on how much it is um i may cop or not but if it's like if it's like 10 to 15 pounds I'll probably cop it but otherwise I'll probably just pass on it although I do think it's a really cool little item you've got that sort of like keychain with the supreme and you can like collapse the knife into it it's really cool so yeah I may be copying that with the piping track jacket there is matching track pants to go with them which is just plain with the supreme logo on the back side of them uh, next up we got a hooded hooded hockey jersey um, this is a bit of a wild item uh, in my opinion because um, there's like loads of different angles going on and yeah from what it says here it's poly mesh whatever that means I'm not too sure what poly mesh is but I feel like it's got to have some sort of texture to it that I wouldn't be a fan of and I'm not 100% sold on this sort of like lace system on the collar of it but a few more details it says it's got the number 19 on the back I'm not sure whether that's some sort of reference to 1994 when the brand started but that's on the back and then you've got it in four colorways my f if i were to get it i'd get it have to be the black red and green all the other ones seem a bit wild and yeah so I'm not sure how this item's going to sell on Thursday. I'm sure it'll sell out, but I'm not 100% sold on what it looks like. Next up, um, this is something that's probably going to be on a lot of people's hit list. The Small Box Peak Tee. Um, I know everything's Small Box logo, Supreme, sells pretty well. And because they do the Hanes tees, I'm sure people will be much more sort of like wanting to cop like the Supreme quality version of that so they're dropping those you've got a plethora of colorways um 
But yeah, this pro this product will probably be a bit overpriced for me, so I'm just gonna straight up pass. Plus, being a hype beast, it doesn't scream supreme, so I'm gonna have to pass on it. Really wild item, in my opinion, um, which is the Leopard Fleece Reversible Jacket. So basically, it's this all over sort of like um, Sherpa fleece uh, leopard print jacket with uh, a zip pocket here, which is seemed a bit random to me, and then two uh, normal pockets down the sides, and then this reverses out into like some like a normal sort of jacket, and you've got a small Supreme box logo and two pockets, and then this comes in three different colorways. You've got like a snow leopard print. Um, a red leopard print and then your normal sort of original leopard print so I'm not sure how well these are going to sell but they are a crazy item I'm sure there's going to be some obscene fit picks outside Supreme tomorrow with people wearing them but yeah I'm just not feeling it at all next up we've got the hooded core coat and now this piece reminds me a lot of the Levi's collab from last season because we've got the um sort of the denim um, jacket look with a red hood which they did with the Levi's collab but on this one you've got some sort of like beige collar going on with the Supreme Arc logo on the chest and then it comes in four different colorways so you've got that Levi sort of looking one and then a basic black one and two sort of weird colorways I don't like there's like a pale purple and a, a teal green but yeah, not feeling that piece at all. Next up we got the uh, striped crew neck, which is just a normal striped crew neck tee. We've got the old English Supreme font on there. Um, but yeah, we've got this Gucci colorway looking one, which I'm sure everyone will be after. And then a few more colorways, which aren't as great as that. We've got like an orange and blue, black and um, like salmon pink, and then a red and black one. So yeah, I'm sure that Gucci one will go quickly, but the rest are sort of like dead to me and I don't really like them. And then finally, the hoodie that's dropping this week, which I think is like the low-key item of this week, to be honest, because I haven't seen too many people raving about it, but I low-key think it's kind of really good. Because we've got this fully embroidered um, Supreme 2017 um, print on there which I think is really cool. It's sort of like multicolored, so there's all types of colors stitched into it. And yeah, it comes in a ton of colorways. So they've used this yellow one as the example, but it comes in like olive green, uh, maroon, navy, black, white, and um, sort of uh, baby blue. So yeah, I'm sure the um, Supreme brush logo hooded sweatshirt, which is the Supreme 2017 hoodie, going to be a big hitter tomorrow so yeah i'm going to go for the inflatable blimp and maybe the knife depending on how much it is um so yeah that's going to be the end of the video let me know what you're going to cop below tell me what items you're feeling tell me what you're not feeling tell me what you think of the collab this week i honestly think it's dead collab um and yeah i'll be back very soon hopefully with some supreme unboxings and reviews when those orders come in but until then, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back very soon with another video. Cheers, guys. Peace.